want to be my lover, you gotta get with my friend. Make him my forever. Friend, you should learn that. If you want to be my lover, you gotta get with my friend. If you want to be my lover, you gotta get with my friend. Okay, that's cool. That's all I wanted. Hey, this is going to be an impersonation. If you're familiar with uh, Mad Magazine, Alfred E. Newman, this is Japanese Alfred E. Newman. <laughs> Thank you. Talking to Ray. We're trying to slide their time between the studio. It looks like it's probably going to be another voice. Wow. Well, I'm glad I come earlier, but. I'm glad I come Yeah, we got nothing. We didn't have a chance. Are we recording? We on? Yeah, uh, on. This is like key? two seconds before the show. No sound check. <laughs> no nothing. We're gonna have a so blast. Someone else is no. This is the way things are supposed to go. Well, that's the way they always go. That's not the way they're supposed to go, but it's the way they always go. We're gonna go up there and we're gonna kick some butt for all 24 people that are here. <laughs> I, I, I stand correct. I stand corrected. She said there's how many people? 54. 50. This is Denise's daughter. Oh, yeah. Stephanie. 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 Yeah. We're gonna go out, kick 70 or 54 butts. Don't be nervous. Oh, right. Give her hell, boys. Hell. Give her to her. <laughs> I know how to drive one of those cars really good. <laughs> Sorry for the delay. We just had to get a few uh, technical difficulties checked out before. Uh... I have to tell everybody that Kayla's going to dance for us. Yeah. Kayla is five years old. Okay, wait, here. You want to come here? You talk in the mic and you tell them. But I'm gonna school next year and run a kindergarten. Hooray! And I'm gonna be a sing singer when I grow up. And I wanna be a doctor. <laughs> Oh, singing doctor, look out. We're going to get things started here, and uh, we're real glad to be here tonight with all of you folks. All of you. And I mean all of you. And you folks up there, I know that you've been cold up there, but if you want to make your way down here, it's a lot warmer down here, so... The dance floor is open too. That'll really get the blood warming up. And uh, if you're thirsty, I believe there's beer back there. Watch out with the curse. We're going to feature some of our songs here on a debut album that hasn't been released yet. And uh, we're going to get things started with one called Yesterday's Love. <laughs> The sun, the sky is blue Reminiscing about the times when it was me and you The first time we kissed Somehow I couldn't resist Boy, you had me hold on from the start 
to the band, okay? And uh, I'm going to start things a little bit backwards. I think we're in Newfoundland here, okay? And uh, behind me on the drums, he does some lead vocals, he does some harmonies, he's also co-written the whole album with me, and uh, also uh, another guy on the stage, I'll get to him after. And uh, I would like you folks to welcome Mr. Claude Melanson behind me on the drums. And then finishing off the rhythm section here of the band, he's also a co-writer and a tune on the album, and Mr. Etienne Leblanc. Yeah. Hey, Davis. And on my far right over there, on the lead guitar, I don't want to jump side to side here, I'll confuse myself. He's actually, uh, he was born to bluegrass picker, is what he is. He plays lead guitar. Yeah, you said it. That's what his mother said as soon as he delivered him, okay? Uh, he plays electric, he plays acoustic, he plays mandolin, he plays some fiddle. And uh, he, plays he plays everything. Even Tanya, I guess. Mr. Danny Maillet. Yay! What's this, Kayla? You want to take over my, my job here, don't you? She says, can I have that microphone for a minute? I'll tell you what, if you're good, I'll let you have it again, okay? You, you just be patient with me, okay? And on this other lead guitar, folks, he comes from Moncton, New Brunswick. He does lead vocals, harmony vocals. He's a originally bass player. He's now on lead guitar. He comes from Moncton as well, Mr. Frank Gallant. He's the only guy who wears a hat. That's only because he's trying to grow yeah, hair as long as mine. Dwight Yelkin wears a hat and Dwight's got no hair. Folks, I got hair. <laughs> Keep wearing a hat and you're not going to have any anymore. And uh, over behind here on piano, this guy has played with many, many musicians. You could go back as far as Lee Marlowe, uh, probably Joan Kennedy. Uh, let's see here, Bryce. Bryce probably knows. Who else, Bryce? He played with Elvis. You played with Elvis, Bryce? Okay. He comes from Moncton, New Brunswick as well, and uh, he's filling in for us because our, uh, our full-time piano player could not be here with us tonight, Mr. Bryce St. Clair. Yeah. And last but not least, this guy, I say he's Tim McGraw's brother. He plays pedal steel. He doesn't say a word. He just, Denise, what do you want? He says he likes my knees. That's only because he wants to play music with me. <laughs> He actually works full-time at the Sony store in Highfield Square. So if you want, go in there and talk to him. Maybe he'll give you a good deal. And uh, he comes from Moncton as well, Mr. Andrew Coco McGraw. How are you? So we're going to do a next song here. And as a matter of fact, this next song is a, is a new single across uh, Canada. It's uh, called What's It Gonna Take? And it goes like this. Thank you. 
As they say, I'm gonna, we're going to slow things down. Give a chance for you folks to cuddle up out there. Barb, I see you got your pants on. Uh, if you're warm, have Kenny uh, cuddle up with you, okay? It's cold up here. Man. Here is another original tune up here. Boys, you guys are cold. I'm like, like, mm. but I'm hot blooded anyways, right? <laughs> this song is called uh, "The Hurt I Can't Take," and it goes like this.
Beers. Cheers, everybody. Yay! Here is another original tune of ours, and uh, this one is called Love You Too Much. So we got anybody out there celebrating a birthday? Birthday, anniversary, divorce, anything at all? Divorce and uh, this one is called Promises. Oh, 
Now see, how many folks here, anybody believe in angels? I believe in angels. I think everybody's got an angel. <laughs> and, pardon me? <laughs> this, uh, this song here is called, uh, it's another original tune of ours for those of those folks out there who uh, haven't heard it before. It's called, Has Anybody Out There Seen My Angel? Has anybody out there seen my angel? Sometimes it all seems close to the things that we want most, and sometimes it seems. 
very much. Here is one by another Canadian artist. This song was called Keep Me Rocker by Patricia Conway. down here. Kayla, did you find yourself a dance partner out there? You wanted to borrow the mic? What is it you have to say? What do you want to say? You want to say something to the people? What do you want to say to the people? Introduce the song, okay? Okay, everybody, I was born in the USA. <laughs> I want to introduce the next song by Denise Marie. You're it's, and it's called You're a Part of Me. No one else can love me like you do No one ever held me like you do You make me feel so good inside Can you see it in my eyes? Do you know how special that you are? Brighten up my nights just like the stars And I'll never break your heart I love you from the very start Cause you are a part of me No one 
one can ever take away the love that I have for you. I'll always be right by your side. Vince Gill, and uh, he uh, he did this song before he ever became a solo artist. He was with a group called Pure Prairie League, and this song was called "I'll Be Damned."
And uh, this song here was basically written about, uh, you know how guys and girls, the guys take out the girls, right? But the girls take out the guys, right? Thank you. What's good for the goose is good for the gander, right? And just because we're on a diet doesn't mean we can't read the menu. As long as we just don't order it, right? Okay, so this is how this song came about. I was actually thinking back and going, geez, you know, it's so funny because when you work in a bar and, and you see people going in, well, you kind of notice who checks out who and all that stuff, but, you know, you keep reserved and you don't say nothing about it. So I kind of sat back and tried to look at the pictures of, I was seeing these girls talking about these guys, and uh, so basically how that whole thing started, Hi. and uh, just started writing it out, and this is what came about. It's called Right Time. Did you think you like this? Uh. <laughs> See that guy who just walked by? Tell you, girl, he looks so fine. Girls are fitted, fitted jeans. Something like I've never seen. Wonder if he'll look this way. Give me any time.
Thank you, now super cool. Videoker. Videoker thing. <laughs> We're just going to do a little switcheroo here. Sound. We'll put this stage together. Lord knows that the rain has been raining for like, it seems like 40 days and 40 nights. I thought we were going to be like Noah's Ark pretty soon. And, uh, you know, and also can't have Speedway because um, we they planned this thing. And uh, we really appreci appreciate you folks who uh, came in to uh, support this because I think with can have Speedway being right here, that this is a prime spot for Country Fest 97 to begin and then 98 and 99 to bring in some bigger concerts and so that everybody can have part right here in Shidiac, right? And it's everybody can come in from Halifax, from anywhere, and right here. Could you imagine? I'd like to see Vince Gill here myself. Anybody else? Everybody. Faith Hill. Somebody said Faith Hill. Yeah, Tim McGraw. Here's a first single that was released across Canada. It doesn't matter who you are or what you do in life. Everybody's got dreams. And from us to you, hold on to your dreams. Last night I saw a falling star. I made a wish as I drove my car. The perfect wish, one driven way to go.
try to tell you what to do with your life. Try to tell you how, you how you should live and what you should do with yourselves. Anybody? I can't see anybody so I don't know. I need to hear you. Okay. Thank you. I will be honest and I will say the same thing. Yes, I have. And this is how this song came about. It's called Nothing About Me. <laughs>
much, Al Sibakun. We're going to do a song here, one by uh, Kathy Matea. I think it's the proper time. It's got to do about cars. Mind you, I didn't write this song, so I like Chevys myself. I'm a Chev girl. I hope there's no Ford people here, because I'm toast. If there's Chev people here, I'd like to do your next, next commercial, please. Uh, It'll be a white Chevy uh, King Cab uh, 4x4. You could make a diesel as well while you're at it. <laughs> Here we go. One call, 455 Rocket.